In this video, I'm gonna show you five tips on how to use the YouTube app. I'm a YouTuber and I do a double take every now and then when the app changes in some way. You know, I wake up in the morning and it's different from when I opened it the night before. And just when I get things set just the way I like them, everything, well, you know what I mean. Hi, my name is Rich. I make videos on how to use the iPad and iPhone for seniors and beginners without going nuts. In fact, this is my 100th video. I never set out to be a YouTuber. I just wanted to make videos that would help my mom use her iPad. Well, things took off and here we are. And on the anniversary of this 100th video, I just want to say thanks to everyone who's tuned in. Your kind comments encourage me to keep going. So today we're looking at the YouTube app, and while there's a lot of moving parts, my goal is to keep this video as easy to follow as possible. So I'm only gonna to touch on five main tips that'll make using the YouTube app easier. Of course, if you're watching this on your iPhone or iPad, you most likely have the app installed, so I'm not gonna talk about installation. But we are going to take a look at settings and preferences, how to refresh the videos that come up when you open the app, how to search for videos, including how to use your iPad microphone, how to set up notifications, how to subscribe to a channel, how to unsubscribe, and how to mark a video for later viewing. And if you stick around until the end, I'll show you the only trick I know to get everything back in whack when everything gets out of whack. All right, let's get started. The first thing we're going to take a look at are settings in the YouTube app. So if you just tap on your YouTube app and open it, you'll come up and you'll typically have a whole bunch of videos right here. If you tap on the little icon with your face on it or whatever icon you use up here where you've logged in, you'll get to the settings and you can scroll down and tap on settings. And then here you get some choices. You can tap on remind me to take a break and that'll remind you to take a break from watching videos. It'll pop up and tell you that. Same thing for bedtime. It'll tell you, hey, it's bedtime, turn off the, the device. Um, you can use the device theme for appearance. Now, if you'll notice, this is bright white. I don't like looking at a flashlight every time I turn on my iPad, so I'm going to tap that and put on dark theme. And now it gets a little bit easier to look at, and you can see that. You can also turn on restricted mode, and that'll help filter out mature videos. You can set up picture in picture here. You can turn that on. And now a picture in picture will play. I should just show you what I mean by that real quick. If we open up a video and we're watching it and we swipe down and now it's a little square here but we actually close the app, it'll continue to play like that until you close on it and tap it like that. If you go back into settings again, you can turn that off if you don't want that on. If you just, when you close out the video, you want it to close out and not pop up on your screen, you can turn picture and picture off. There's also other uh, categories over here, autoplay, video quality preferences. I tap on that. I typically choose higher picture quality because the screen on the iPad is so good. But if you have a slow internet connection, that may make it a little more difficult to play high picture quality videos. Notifications, we'll get to that in just a minute, but you have to turn that on to get notified. But the main stuff to start with and to keep this simple is right here in the general section of the settings. And you can go through that and just play with them and set that up the way you want. And that's how you set up settings. All right, the next thing I wanna to talk to you about is how to refresh videos. You know, if you tap on the icon, you get these videos and here they are and if you close out the program and you tap on it again you get the same videos maybe you don't want to watch any of those videos how do you refresh it well it's pretty simple but i thought i'd mention this just in case you didn't know you can just swipe down like that and refresh and it'll bring up a whole new set of videos and you can keep doing that as many times as you want and it'll refresh uh, videos for you like that and that's just a very simple way to do that. And occasionally I do that. Sometimes the, the YouTube app seems to kind of get stuck on a set of videos. Maybe I've watched them and I don't want to watch them anymore. Or it's a whole bunch of stuff I'm not interested in. And I just swipe down. 
like that, and then it'll refresh and bring up newer videos. And that's how you refresh videos, pretty simple. Okay, the next thing I wanna to talk to you about is how to search for a video. If you open up the YouTube app and you've got your videos here and you wanna search for something, you can tap on the little magnifying glass in the top right corner right here, and you can type in, you know, cabin videos and ask it to search. And it'll bring up videos on cabins, just like that. And if you notice, if you go back and tap on it again, you'll have a whole bunch of searches. These are searches that I've made and they show up again and you can just tap on them. Here's one on travel planning. You can pick that up and this will tell you how to plan for like a pro for travel. And all of those searches are saved over here. If you want to get rid of a search, you can just swipe over like that and delete it. And that search is gone. Another way to search is using the microphone. If you tap on the little spyglass and it bring you, brings you to the search page, you can tap on the microphone in the top right corner and just say what you're searching for. Rich Boland videos. And here are videos just like that. And you didn't have to type anything in. And that's pretty handy. Hey, here's an old video I made on how to use YouTube. So I'm having to update that video today. But that's an easy way to search, either using the search bar and typing in what you're looking for or using the microphone to just speak your search. Okay, the next thing I want to talk to you about is notifications. You know how sometimes when you watch a YouTube video, they'll say, you know, like and subscribe and tap that little bell for notifications? Well, this is how that works. If you tap that bell uh, and you have notifications turned on, when a new video is released, you'll get a notification that there's a new video available for you to watch. But you have to turn that on in the settings of the iPad itself. How you do that is you tap on the settings icon and you scroll down till you get to notifications and you tap on that. And then you have all your apps over here. And if you'll notice, we've got YouTube down here and notifications are turned off. If you turn that, if you tap on that, you can turn on allow notifications. And now you have a variety of different notifications. Lock screen, notification center, and banners that come across your iPad. Maybe you don't want any banners, so you can just tap that off. You can also have it play a sound and put badges on the uh, YouTube app that'll show you how many notifications that you have, and that's kind of handy. So if you turn that on there, you're good to go. And now when you go back into YouTube and you go to Home, and we're going to tap on my icon up here and go back to Settings, and we go to notifications, then you have a whole bunch of uh, choices here. And the one that you want to turn on are subscriptions if you want to be notified that a new video is available for you to watch. You can turn it off if you don't want it, but you can turn that back on. And you can turn on a variety of other things. If you comment and somebody replies to your comment and you want a notification from that, you can turn that on right here. Uh, and there's just a variety of different things in here that you can get notified on and you can work your way through there one by one and just choose what suits you the best. But that's how you set up notifications. All right, the next thing I want to talk to you about is how to subscribe and unsubscribe and then how to set up a video to just watch later. Maybe you don't even want to subscribe or unsubscribe. You just want to watch it later. Let me show you how to do that. So when you open the app, you come up and you have your your videos here so we'll just tap on this video and it starts playing and if you notice you've got a little button here that says subscribe and if you tap on that it says subscription added and now you've subscribed to that the channel is everything Hollywood now if we go back home and we tap on subscriptions you get a list of everything you've subscribed to over here and you can go down to Everything Hollywood. And that was what we were just watching right there, that video. Now, 
if you tap on it again and you're watching and you want to unsubscribe, well, there's no button that says unsubscribe, but it's actually that little bell. If you tap on it, you can unsubscribe right here like that by tapping on it. And now it says you've uns unsubscribed from Everything Hollywood. So again, if you subscribe to it and you want to get a notification, you can tap on it and you can check give me all notifications. So everything that channel does, you'll get a notification from it. And that's how you find out whether there's a new video available or not. Maybe you don't want to subscribe or unsubscribe, but it's just a video that you want to watch later. How you do that is you just tap on those little three dots in the bottom right corner of the video and you'll get this choice here. You can save it to a playlist. You can actually download the video if you're paying for a YouTube subscription service. But you can always just tap to save to watch later like that. And now it's added to watch later. And if you go over to your library, you can tap on watch later. And here are the videos that you've saved to watch later. And there's the one that we just saved. This is a handy way if you don't have time to watch a video, but it's something you know you want to watch, you can just tap on that and mark it save to watch later and you're good to go. It's that simple. Okay, if you've made it this far, I want to show you one last thing. Sometimes you tap on those little three buttons and nothing comes up. Sometimes the YouTube app just doesn't behave the way you want it to behave. And so what do you do to fix that? Well, the only thing that I have found is simply to close the app and then reopen the app. It's that simple. So if you want to close it, again, We'll bring it back up. All you do is you swipe up from the bottom and kind of long press, and then all your apps that are open pop up, and you just swipe it away like that. And now it's closed, and now when you open it again, you get a fresh reopen. And that takes care of most of the issues you have when something just, you know, really gets out of whack. I hope these tips were easy enough to follow and I didn't go too fast. If you missed something, just watch the video again. The YouTube app seems to change on a regular basis and revisiting how to use it from time to time just makes sense to me. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.